Hi, my name's Luke Sloan. I'm a professor in the School of Social Sciences at Cardiff University in Wales, UK. And I'm really proud today to be able to talk about our new book, the second edition of the Sage Handbook of Social Media Research Methods, um, edited by myself and um, my longtime collaborator, Annabelle Quan Haas, um, who's in Canada. Now, the really interesting thing about the book is that it focuses on methods. When I started working with social media, several years ago now, it wasn't seen as a particularly legitimate source of social scientific knowledge. It was unknown, it was seen as messy and unstructured, and there were lots of questions about representation and utility. So my very early academic work was about just understanding, is it any use? Uh, who does and doesn't use it? What sort of things can it tell us? What sort of things can't it tell us? And we soon realised, as the community of us all around the world, of global scholars looking at this, that there was a really big piece to be done around the methods that could be used, the methodology of social media data to really interrogate it. So myself and Annabelle came together, pulled together scholars who were blazing a trail all over the world in this area to bring together the first edition of the handbook. And now this is the second edition where we're in a slightly different position where the use of social media for social scientific research and for disciplines beyond is now more well established and understood Therefore, questions about its utility have shifted from much, not from is it a useful source and what can it tell us, but to the ethics of social media research, how to access it, how to properly deal with it, how it should be archived, how it can and can't be shared, and the legal and ethical implications of using it. So the good thing about handbooks is that people that contribute them from all over the world are experts in their field. They are encyclopedias in some sense, they are expert entries of the cutting edge. But when myself and Annabelle commissioned chapters for the book, we wanted it to be accessible. So within there is a lot of cutting edge stuff from people at the front of their field, but it's all accessible. Where possible, um, authors have used case studies to demonstrate how particular techniques can be applied. And a lot of this is not written from a substantive perspective. The lessons that you can take from it are methodological and transferable across the disciplines. And I think that stems from this idea that we're still trying to understand what social media can and can't do. Even though we've established that it's useful, we're kind of stress testing it, where it can be useful, where it can tell us things and where it can't. So if you wanted to know about how to access an API, if you wanted to know, for examples, of how particular social media platforms uh, or how particular events in the real world are manifested on social media platforms. Or if you wanted to know who's using social media to understand the demographic biases based on platforms, it's all in this book. So if you're a student or an academic or a researcher or institution, hopefully your library has access to it. If not, then you can go online and order it. You won't miss it because it's the brightest coloured book on my shelf. I really hope you enjoy it and I'd be really happy to hear from any of you on any feedback you have on its content and if we were to do a third edition, what that might look like.